Hey guys, it's God Bars here, the self-proclaimed hip-hop historian, and this is the 85th episode of my series where I grab a vinyl from my collection, talk about why I love it, what influence it had, and what its place is in the grand scheme of hip-hop. I typically try to stay away from terms like underrated for the most part because I feel like it can sometimes be a bit of a backhanded compliment to take an extremely successful rapper that's beloved and made their mark on the genre and basically imply that most people don't know them. However, that doesn't mean the idea of an MC or act being underappreciated doesn't exist at all. And while they're definitely well respected and acknowledged amongst hip hop heads and legends alike, it's hard to say that Black Alicious isn't a slightly underrated duo in the scheme of things. The two members in this innovative outfit included another legend we unfortunately lost in the 2020s, the lyrical wizard Gift of Gab, along with the incredibly creative and idiosyncratic producer and DJ Chief Excel. One of their biggest claims to fame came in the late 90s when they released the tongue-twisting alphabetic aerobatics, which gained some recognition again in the social media age when Daniel Radcliffe rapped over it on one of the late-night talk shows. I actually remember my sister being super into it at the time, but she had the same impression a lot of the comments leave, which is, Whoa, Harry Potter can rap! I don't even think a lot of them realize that he didn't write the songs, since obviously Blackalicious isn't going to have the same type of play with the typical Jimmy Fallon or Kimmel audience as something as universal as Harry Potter. But that song itself is a great example of how hip-hop is arguably the single most forward-thinking genre in terms of advancing creative writing. What Gift of Gab does with Schemes is truly on its own planet, and he takes lyrical and technical complexity to a whole new level. I virtually never see this dude in pulls of fastest or most complex rappers, but while I'm not saying Twista, Busta, or other legends are deserving of being in that conversation, I feel like a big reason Gift of Gab doesn't often get put in the same discussions as Eminem is because he was able to do things technically that M just wasn't, and frankly some of his stands probably aren't ready for that conversation. They have a discography full of jewels, but for me 2002's Blazing Arrow is their crowning achievement, and I think it's where they really nail this odd futuristic aesthetic that they work with. It's one of the only albums to come before or after Shabazz Palace's Black Up that can even remotely exist in the same atmosphere that album does for me. They both have this outer space-like feel with a twist where the mixing and treatment of sounds is largely used to give you this unsettling quality. You also have to give a nod to Clipping, who definitely have taken this sound in an entirely different direction with albums like Splendor and Misery or There Existed an Addiction to Blood, as well as a couple other alternative rap concept albums set in the future like Deltron 3030 or Mr. Lip's I Phantom. All of these have a calculated and forward-thinking approach that has a space element, but it's more unnerving than it is optimistic. It's kind of like that ending scene in 2001 A Space Odyssey, where if you research the final room it takes place in, all the architecture is purposefully nonsensical as to give the watcher a sense of unease. It's pretty genius because the contradictions come in the form of the paintings, furniture, etc., all being from different conflicting time periods. It's something none of us who aren't students of ancient architecture would know without them telling us, yet the room still makes us feel anxious and we know something is off. The production Chief Excel does is kind of similar to me because his mixing is purposefully kind of tinny, yet ethereal, and it definitely threw me off a bit when I first heard this LP. However, now it doesn't bother me at all. In fact, like I referenced earlier, it actually adds to the experience, because it isn't like the treatment of the vocals is harsh and grating, and Gift of Gab never sounds buried in the mix, nor like he's on top of it. However, that's just them sonically setting the stage. The real innovation in Magic comes in when the jerky, funky, and electronic beats get rolling, and the mind-spinning verses start flowing. To give you a small sample of the inhuman material Gift of Gab would deliver at 20 bars a second, I have to slow down his verse on the title track just to even read it. Literally, the first thing he says on the entire album is, Amazing face, your days, your hazy ways, my blazing arrow. The rays that range from Asia way to Rio de Janeiro. A craze you crave, but work today's the day that in a major way I'll make you say, oh look, he saved the day, and also paved the way, rocking my crew like razor blades today, and days away from now, okay, I'm like a laser ray keeping the stains away, and dangerous ways wrapping the phrase that pays, all things just ain't a phase, but ages ways a cagey great displays, yo hey, this ain't a game, so stays awake, cause if you came to play, you'll all behave insane, after we change the game, it won't remain the same. If you still aren't impressed with that, check out a song like Chemical Calisthenics, where Gift of Gab crosses over into bus driver territory. 
with some insanely risky and avant-garde choices, but they completely pay off. Here, Excel is proving himself as one of the most forward-thinking and experimental producers in the game by changing the tempo and BPM constantly within the same song, which Gift of Gab doesn't miss a beat of. He'll rap along with the rhythm at times and deliver choppy, segmented bars that synchronize with the drum stabs, and honestly, anyone who's able to listen to this song and still think hip-hop and rap music aren't art or music has a hole in their head. Even when they aren't pushing the absolute boundary of your imagination, they're still delivering high-concept and witty tracks with instrumentals that range from funky and bouncy to more cold and rigid. While Chief Excel is the main mastermind behind the boards, there's actually some more hip-hop royalty that assist with Blazing Arrow's production. These include Questlove of The Roots, DJ Shadow, High Tech, Ben Harper, and Cut Chemist, who is also one of the features listed here. The rest of the legends who make appearances are Gil Scott Heron, Latif the Truth Speaker, Kiki Wyatt, Ben Harper, Jaguar Wright, Lifesavers, Zach De La Roca, Saul Williams, Lyrics Born, Charlie Tuane of Jurassic 5, as well as Raka and DJ Babu of Dilated Peoples. My top three favorite songs here would probably have to be Green Light, Now Begin, Make You Feel That Way, and Chemical Calisthenics. For honorable mentions, I want to shout out the title track, Sky is Falling, 4,000 Miles, Nowhere Fast, Paragraph President, Passion, Day 1, and Release, Part 1, 2, and 3. Thank you for watching my 85th video. Next time we're doing something that's actually a first for this channel, which is a hip-hop album from the UK. So tune in for that change of pace, and if you enjoyed, be sure to like, subscribe, and let me know what your favorite songs off this one-of-a-kind experience are. Don't forget to have a great day, and I'll see you next time, okay? All right. at your homeboy imitators idolize i intimidate in an instant i'll rise in an irate state juiced on my jams like jerry curls jocking joints